Hi friends. 2020 has been one of the hardest mental health years of my life, which is extra fun because it's only June. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. I think even people that don't struggle normally with anxiety and depression are just like, come on, dude. And one of the things that's been particularly hard for me lately has been social media. It just feels like it's becoming such a negative space. And I mean, yes, there are a lot of negative things happening in the world, but it just seems like people take some kind of pleasure out of piling onto that. Over the last few years, I've seen a lot of people that I look up to and that I admire endorsing and perpetuating hate and bullying and name calling and try and make it seem like it's justified. And I think that just because of how the internet is, I've had this increasingly constant fear of saying or doing the wrong thing or not saying something when I should have said something or saying something when I shouldn't have said something. And it's crippling. I recently had my husband change my Twitter password so that I am not able to log on to my account for a while um, because I think that it's probably better for my mental health. I've contemplated if I want to continue trying to get my book published. I've wondered if it would be better to just not have a public platform, even if it means not putting out music anymore. And the stupid thing is it's not because any of that has ever been directed at me. It's because I'm scared that it would. And I just feel this need to protect myself from all of the vitriol and the hate that has become so normalized. For anybody that has a viewpoint on anything that's different than what they think it should be. But I love making music and I love sharing it with you all. And I've heard from so many of you that my music has helped you through tough stuff and it's made you feel strong and it's been able to put words to your feelings that you haven't been able to. And I get such joy out of that because that's what music's always done for me. And even the stuff that I do, like the mental health chats, it feels really good to be able to put my flaws on display, which is uncomfortable, but I think it's important to destigmatize what we think mental health struggles look like. So I am not ready to give up on this but I want to reaffirm my commitment to you that this space and that all of my other social media spaces will always be places of positivity and kindness where everybody, everybody can feel safe and welcome. It's always been an unspoken rule of mine, but I feel like now more than ever, it's important to make that really, really clear. I am never going to attack your opinions and I am never gonna force my opinions on you. I know a lot of you guys are younger than me and I take that really seriously because I wanna lead by example and show that you do not have to jump on the hate bandwagon just because you feel like everybody else is. And there is a clear difference between that and standing up for something that you believe in because your entire life you are going to come across people that disagree with you about something. I don't think you're ever gonna find anybody that agrees with every single thing that you believe. And a lot of times it's going to be people that you love and that you care about, that their views don't line up with yours. Personally, I have always chosen for myself to try and engage in dialogues and meaningful conversations with people that I don't agree with rather than attack them. And it sucks when you start feeling like you're the minority in that. I hope that you guys will be kind to each other and kind to the people in your lives and understand that your words, even online, even for people that you don't think that they would affect, they do. And that is why I never want to be careless or thoughtless with mine. I love you guys, and I will see you next time.